Goo goo goo, ga ga ga. What did I just say? I said I'm gonna be building a baby's only house in Bloxburg. <laughs> That was so dumb. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, so far we've built a toddler's only house. We've built a kid's only house. And so many of you guys were begging me to build a baby's only house. And I don't even know if that's possible, but today we're gonna try and see if it works. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, babies are very, very small. So we're gonna be building the actual exterior of the house out of basic shapes. I'm gonna kind of measure this like right next to my head. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, this kind of works. And again, I don't know how big I want this house to be. I guess we can just like make it up as we go and hopefully it won't turn out a flop. As for the windows, we're going to be using transparent cubes because obviously we can't be using real windows. No oh, ma'am. Okay, as for the door, I don't know how I'm going to make this door work. Wait, what if we put a farm fence like this? We can use a small farm gate for the door, but I don't know because it's kind of see-through. Not the safest option for this baby house, for this goo goo gaga house. Unless I put a classic fence. Okay, but that does not look like a door. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to use a farm fence and then if we don't like it at the end, we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, what color do I want this house? Usually I do like horizontal planks, but I wanna switch it up this time. Maybe we can do bricks. This can be a little brick house. Or we can do black bricks, makes it nice and modern. Oh my God, it's an emo baby. And we can't forget to outline the windows to make window frames. Cause without window frames, these windows, they do be looking a little bit funky, you know? We might even make the window frames white like that. Ooh, I love building mini things. I love it. It's so therapeutic. Forget big mansions. I don't want to live in a big mansion. I just want to live in a cute little cozy cottage, okay? Okay, so far it's looking good. We might even have a little patio at the front here. I also want flowers, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit flowers. If I can make them very small. Wait, what are these? Oh wait, these are even cuter. Actually, forget about these flowers. I'm going to use these plastic flowers. We can put them at the front of the windowsill and then obviously we can still see the pots, so we'll just fix that by, you guessed it, basic shapes. And there we go. We've got our own little DIY pot plant. Now I really want to add a fence at the front, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I'm thinking maybe candles. So if you put these vintage candles together like this, obviously you have to change the candle itself to like black so it doesn't let off any light. And I don't know, I'm thinking we can have a white picket fence. Oh, we can even resize the candles. What? Guys, if this works, I'm going to scream. Okay, so once we've got the candles, then we can go in with small structural beams. And then hopefully if we can line this up properly. Oh my God, it kind of worked. It kind of looks like a little fence. Okay, now we just need to go ahead and add the rest of this house. And maybe the entry area can be like two by three. And then we can extend these rooms out by like two blocks maybe. Okay, which means this little two by two can be the bedroom. As for the kitchen, I don't even think the babies can use the pre-built kitchens. Okay, I think that's it for the floor plan. But like, that's the whole point. It's a baby's house. Also, because this is a baby's house, we are going to have to use lots of colors. I was going to use Danish pastel, but we already used that for the kid's house. Okay, so of course we need to add this very cute small welcome mat. And as for the lighting, you know what? If we use table lamps in a baby's house, it actually looks like a proper floor lamp. So that's what we're going to do, I think. Like this log table lamp is something we would use on our bedside table, but in a baby's house, it's it's like an actual real life light. Okay, we'll also have our stroller in the corner just in case we need to take ourselves for a nice little stroll around the park. Also, as for the chairs, kid chairs, can, can babies use this chair? I need to check. Okay, perfect. It's baby approved. Okay, so we can add a chair in the entryway. I'd actually make this lamp a little bit more bigger. Okay, so we'll just place this log lamp on a basic cylinder. And there you go, it's kind of elevated now. Okay, we can also have the hook rack here. It's so small. I wish we could resize like every single furniture item. Now, usually I wouldn't use these hanging towers because they are way too big, but your girl just figured out that you can actually resize them and make them very small. And then that way we can put them under the coat rack. And there we go, we've got little baby, baby coats. That is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen, I think. Okay, but because this is a baby's house, obviously we're gonna need like some um, toys, but you know what? We're not gonna have a messy baby house. No, ma'am. Okay, so we're gonna add this mesh basket like in this corner and then that way we can fill this up with toys. It'll be so cute. We've got lots of toys to choose from. So I'm just gonna fill this up with like random toys. For example, these geometric blocks. What's this? Stacked rings. Oh my god, I remember that as a kid. Oh, a little baby rattle. That is so cute. And then a little pacifier. Wait, I just thought of something really funny. I don't know about you guys, but in some entryways, some people will have their car keys and their house keys hanging up like right at the front of your house so then you won't forget it when you walk out. I just thought of something really cute. Now, 
instead of having my car keys hanging out, I'm actually gonna put my dummy and a pacifier. Like, look how cute that is. Like when little baby Alaska's walking out the house, she's like, oh my gosh, I forgot my pacifier and my dummy. Also, can babies drive these baby cars? Oh, you are too young to do this. Okay, so babies actually can't drive these cars. So instead of a car, we're actually gonna have a stroller collection. Like sometimes I wanna go around in my pink stroller, sometimes my green, depends on the day. Also, can babies even use that kitchen, these pre-built, I don't think they can. I think it's too big for them. Let's have a little look. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, okay, that's that's good to know. At least we can use these then. I was gonna do my own custom made kitchen. So luckily I don't have to do that, which means the kitchen can just go in this corner and then over here we can add the dining table. Okay, for the dining table, I think we're just gonna use these pencil chairs and pencil tables. Actually, can we like make this table <laughs> really big? I don't know if that looks kind of silly. I just want a really long dining table. Like what if I'm having some guests over? I'm having a little baby business meeting. Okay, then we can add these pencil chairs here. I think that is the cutest table I've ever seen. You know, when I ever have kids, I'm gonna build them a massive cubby house like this. You know what, I think I'm gonna give this baby a nice dark modern house. Also, because this is a baby's house, we are gonna have to use lots of colors. Like, you know what? Take back everything I just said. We're gonna make this the most realistic baby house you've ever seen. Okay, I also want a nice long window at the back of the kitchen. Why is this baby house kind of looking like a New York loft at the moment? I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, you know what? Before anything, I think I may need to add the roof. Okay, so we'll just put a flat cube on the top. I'm also thinking we should have like a little porch at the front and maybe that would be cute. Okay, now here's the difficult bit, which is actually making the roof into a slanted gable roof. It takes blood, sweat, and tears, but eventually I get it done. Okay, so two cubes like this. Then we go in with the transform tool, kind of tilt that like this, and then we kind of bring these together. It's really confusing, but like once you get the hang of it, super easy. And haha, we have a gable roof, but it is not finished because now we have to go in with horizontal wedges and fill this nasty gap in. Oh my god, guys, I'm, s I'm losing brain cells. I just realized I can't add the roof yet because if I go in, this is my view. Like I can barely see anything and I can't just turn off the roof because because it's not a roof, it's a basic shape. So go back outside. Now over here, I really want to have some paintings. Oh, we also need some plants, but we can't actually use big plants. So what I usually do is add this little mini spiraling plant. Damn, okay, why is this baby's house such a vibe though? Now, obviously because it's a baby, we're gonna have some milk. See, look how cute that is. We have a little carton of milk and then a little glass of milk. Now, obviously it's still gonna be dark in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna copy this lamp from the entryway and put it in this corner. And as for the living room, I want this to be right in the center. You know what, because this is a baby, we can have an elephant carpet. And I'm pretty sure babies can use bean bags because there's no, like, is there not any lounges for kids? Why have they not added that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no lounges, unfortunately. Oh, well, we're just going to have to use bean bags. Honestly, why do people even use lounges? Just use bean bags. Bean bags are such a vibe. Scratch everything I just said. I'm going to be making my own lounges. So what if we put the bean bags like this? And then on top of the bean bags, we can put basic shapes, if that makes sense. And we also need the back of the lounge. Every time I come up with an idea, in Blocksburg, it will either flop dramatically or it'll go really good. There's there's no in between. Okay, let's have a look if this works. Please work, please work, please, please. Okay, what is this? I mean, it works. Just, okay, um, just half of my body is sunken into the lounge. You know what? It's kind of camp. We're gonna keep it. It's okay, we'll just fix it by placing these a little bit lower. Okay, we can add little flower pillows in the lounge. There we go, a cute little lounge. It's kind of looking a bit funky, but it's fine. I really want to add a TV in here as well. So what I might do, we can place these desk organizers like this and add this very miniature TV. Why is this lounge room so cute? I feel like we need more toys though. Oh, these teddy bears. Duh, I love these teddy bears. They're actually my favorite thing in Bloxburg. Maybe a little lava lamp as well. I feel like a baby's house shouldn't have access to a lava lamp. There's so many ways that could go wrong. So I think that is this section of the baby's house done, which means we can now add the roof here. Okay, so the next room I want to work on is the bathroom over here. Also, I want to make the walls different because this black brick is like too much, but also so these walls are made out of basic shapes. So I can't color one wall without coloring both walls. So we might just have to have like another layer of basic shape. So all we're gonna do is just put another basic shape right in front of this wall. And then that way we can paint it whatever color we want. And because this is a bathroom, we're gonna make it out of tiles. See, that looks so much better than brick. Also over here, I wanna have a window. Okay, we can't forget the window frame and there we go. <laughs> it's gonna be the smallest bathroom ever. So if we go into babies and kids, we can use these cute little train potties. So we'll just put one there. This toilet paper is literally the size of a baby's head. We can also have like a few more paintings in here. Can babies even use baths? 
So we just have this massive bathtub in here. I don't even think babies can use baths. Hold on. Oh my god, I can't. And I get my own floaty. Wait, that is so cute. I had no idea I could even do that. In that case, we are adding this elegant bathtub. You know what? This baby can have a marble bathtub. It's a fancy baby, okay? And here's gonna be the sink and the mirror, but um, obviously the mirror is gonna have to be kind of low. And I can just use this oval mirror, a few of these little cylindrical wall lamps, and oh my gosh, everything is so big, like when you're in a baby's perspective. These wall lamps are usually very tiny. As for the sink, I don't think babies can use sinks. Sorry, this baby does not get a sink. Instead, it just gets toothbrush. Oh, and slippers. That's kind of cute. Okay, we can also have a hairbrush here to brush our little baby hair. Okay, and I think that's everything. As for the door, I might just copy this. There's really no privacy. There's literally no privacy. Wait, okay, so we're gonna have a woven fence. What's like a fence gate that has privacy? You know what? I guess we can just have this picket fence. You know what? It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so moving on to the last room, we have our bedroom. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do the bedroom because the only beds that babies can sleep in are these cribs. Unless, wait, I haven't idea what if i do the same thing that i done for the bean bag so i can put a bean bag like this and then i can put a basic shape on top of the bean bag okay let's say we want a pink bed let's see if this works okay fingers crossed let's see if this works oh my god what is that why do i look like that i look like i'm drowning in like bubble gum or something this just looks wrong I, okay y'all if there is a will there is a way and I will make that way. I'm persistent and I'm gonna make this work, okay? So maybe instead of this harsh cube, we can use a smooth cube. The only difference between a smooth cube and a normal cube, see how a cube has these sharp edges and a smooth cube doesn't. So maybe this will look a little bit better. Okay, so we can do the mattress like this and my head's gonna be poking out here. So what if we add some pillows behind the bed? Also, I probably shouldn't have pillows on a baby's bed. You know how dangerous that is? Like babies cannot sleep with pillows because it's like very, very dangerous. But it's Bloxburg so we can break the rules, ha ha ha. Wait, we can have a little elephant bed. You know what, we can also have some paintings above the bed. That's actually so cute. This bed is adorable. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think this baby's house is gonna win out of the toddler and the kid. Okay, and on the bed, we can have a few drawing sets. Oh my God, I really wanna have clouds in this bed because it's like a baby's room, so. What if we put little clouds in the room like this? Hello, just making my way to my bedroom. Aha, it worked. Wait, this is kind of perfect. So then we can put clouds all around this baby's room. Like, how cute is that? You know what? I also want to give this baby its own fireplace because I'm just like the best Bloxburg mummy in the world. If you call me a Bloxburg mom, you better put ABC for rich in front of it. Someone please turn that into a TikTok audio and tag me. <laughs> okay, I really want to add a fireplace. The only problem is the fireplaces in Bloxburg are like way, way too big. So what I'm gonna do instead, and hopefully this will work, is put a painting like this, and then make my own custom-made fireplace decal. Okay, so the two last things I wanna add in here is a little desk and a wardrobe. Okay, so for the wardrobe, we're gonna have to make this very small because it's gonna be made out of baby clothes. So we're actually gonna put these stuck towels and then we're gonna resize them and make them very small. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know towels could go that small. Look at that. Okay, and we also need little slippers as well. One thing that's missing in here is uh, my AV logo. Of course, my dad how could we forget? Damn, voila. That was the first time I'd done it and I kind of smashed it. Also, I really want to have fairy lights in here because I feel like fairy lights in a baby's room is just like essential. And here's my little vanity table. Okay, what can we have on the vanity table though? I guess we can just have some toys. I also need to have a little plushie collection because I'm obsessed with plushies and I feel like every kid should have a bunch of plushies on their bed. Actually, do you guys have plushies like on your bed? I actually have this um bear, this polar bear from Ikea and I've had it since like 2016. So let me know if you guys have like plushies and if you've named them, let me know the names of your plushies. If you've got plushies and you name them, let me know what plushies you have on your bed and what the names are. I'm gonna judge your names. My polar bear plushie is called uh, <laughs> Mr. Fluff. We love Mr. Fluff. Okay. So I think the house is done. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix the roof and then we can finally have a look inside. Okay, so the baby's house is all finished and comes to a total of $63,169. So let's head on inside. Also, guys, I'm literally so dumb. I just realized Bloxburg has like milk bottles. I've been using oil bottles. So anyway, here's how the outside turned out. This genuinely turned out so cute. I added like a little garden over here and these fences as well. I'm really impressed on how these turned out. And as you can see at the front, it says uh, baby's only 
only. No one else is allowed in this house. And then over here, I have my little stroller collection. On Mondays, we go with red. Tuesdays, green. Wednesdays, purple. And first day, I, I go with a blue stroller. So yeah. I love this little door hack that I done because technically it's a gate, but it looks like a door, which is pretty cool. Okay, so over to the left here, we can just sit on here, play with a few toys. And also look how cute these little towels are. And then once we're done with our toys, and then we've got our dummy and our pacifier. So instead of car keys, we've got pacifier and dummy. And oh yeah, more stroller collection. I'm kind of a baby millionaire, so I've got lots of strollers. And then over here, we've got the lounge room. Okay, let's see if these lounges actually work. I haven't used them before. That's actually perfect. It works. Oh, look how cute this is. We have our little octopus on top. Looks like I'm getting devoured by this octopus right now. So we can just sit here, watch our massive TV. Technically, it's like the smallest TV, but as a baby, everything's like tripled in size. Okay, and then coming over to the kitchen. I actually love this kitchen. It's so cute. And as you can see, I'm such an amazing cook. I'm not even reaching the stove. I don't really know what I'm doing. Ah, yes, that makes sense. I think the dining table like turned out the best because it's like a baby's house. I just added food on the floor because babies are very messy. So we got cheese platter over here. And then on this end, we just have a bunch of baby food. Oh, also, if you haven't noticed, I changed the bricks to white instead of black because I felt like the black was just too dark. Okay, so coming to the bathroom, we have these slippers. I don't know why I added slippers because I mean, look at our feet. We've got tiny baby feet. It's like Bigfoot slippers. Then we've got our little vanity table. This is actually so cute. And look at these lights. Can we even use a hairbrush? Ah, uh, yes. I love brushing air. I'm not even brushing my hair. Like, look, look at this. Stupid baby. I'm not even brushing my teeth either. Guys, how do I put this toothbrush down? Guys, I don't know how to put it down. Okay, we're just gonna have to be stuck brushing our teeth. Anyway, I can't even go on a first person because there's just a toothbrush in my face. And this is what I meant when the toilet paper is literally the size of our head. And as for the bathtub, I couldn't actually jump into it. So I added stairs as well. So then we can just kind of go like this and then use our massive bathtub, making our way to the last room, which is the bedroom. So I turned this decal into a fireplace because I wanted to add a fireplace, but the fireplaces were too big. So I just added this and it turned out pretty cool. Also this AV in blue. Ooh, she fancy or whatever. And here is our desk. Instead of books, we just have toys because we are babies. And then here is the bed. I actually haven't tested to see if this bed works. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. I mean, it kind of works. Maybe I just had to put the beanbag a little bit more back. So yeah, I love this bed. I think it's my favorite bit in this house as well as these cute little cloud decals and my little toy collection. But yeah, that is the baby's house all complete. I think this was the best one so far, but you guys are gonna have to have a debate in the comments. Which one was better? The baby's house, the toddler's house or the kid's house? But personally, I really like this baby's house. I don't know about you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.